What's happening, everyone? This is Jim from JCRC. Uh, excuse me for a minute here. I'm just kind of messing around with different wheels and uh, colors to see what would look good on the old TF2 here. Got a gold wheel sitting in front of it right now. Not too shabby. Looks pretty good. The red colored wheel. That looks pretty good too. Hmm. Yeah, just trying to uh, messing with wheels here for a minute. Was thinking about getting a set of wheels and uh, was seeing what different colors look good on these vehicles. I had these four stock wheels from the Viterra Twin Hammers, and I just painted a couple of them different colors. Uh, since I don't use these wheels for anything, I just painted them a couple different colors uh, just for test wheels to see what they would look like on the. Uh, with a different color on the vehicle, this one being white. I know red looks pretty good on the hammer there. So white looks pretty good on the hammer too. Red definitely looks good on the TF2. I'm not a big fan of gold, but man, I kind of think that the gold ones actually might look the best on that TF2. Unsure on that. All right, back to the video at hand. Uh, a couple little things. To, uh, got the TF2 all wired back up. Uh, new receiver, all plastic dip sitting in place, new wench controller, a wired wench controller which is hooked up to my lights, plastic dipped and installed as well. Uh, twin hammers, I said this before in a previous video that I added two five gallon gas cans to the back just to give a little bit more flair to it. And I also installed a hot racing aluminum spur gear cover down here. And that mainly is to keep my battery from hitting my spur gear. You can see where the battery is sitting right there and how close it is on the spur gear. It's actually resting right on the edge of that little uh, cover there. If it was like this cover right here, it would be pushing in on this rubber piece slightly, uh, causing it to rub on that uh, main shaft coming out for the spur gear. The aluminum one, actually, that whole black piece there on the end unscrews out of the uh, main cover. Sorry about the poor angles here. But that unscrews out of the main cover, um, so it's a pretty solid attachment when it's all screwed back in and, and snug down. So having that new cover on there, there's no worries about my battery actually uh, hitting the spur gear and, and uh, slowing things down or doing any kind of grinding. All right, back to the TF2. Let's crack this baby open. Got some wires hanging off right here. This is the main whip that goes down to my lights. Coming off the winch controller. And this one right here goes to a small servo that's sitting in my dashboard that uh, is actually hooked up to the steering wheel. I'm just going to set this thing off to the side so it's not really hitting anything. Move you guys around here so we can see what we got going on. Uh, new steering servo that was installed in a previous video. Line from the steering servo, the, the wire coming up here. This is the winch controller that I added, the wired winch controller. Um, that has been plastic dipped. It's double sided tape to the shift servo. It also has a nylon strap or a zip tie going around it, making sure that the shift servo is not uh, hitting any of this and interrupting anything. 
This is just a piece of double-sided tape that I have uh, sandwiched around this wire to keep that held in place. Alright, so this is the main steering uh, servo line. It comes up, or wire, comes up. Comes into a splitter right here, a little Y connector. Sorry about all this, this is a whole mess of wire here and it's hard to see. So it hits this Y connector and that Y connector goes over to a power capacitor right here that has also been plastidipped. Just to make sure that my steering servo is getting 100% power there. And then that Y connector hits another Y connector. Why? <laughs> because it's needed. Um, and that goes to the main steering slot on the receiver. The receiver is sitting right inside this box here, this bundle of um, plastic dipped wires that are sticking out here. So mainly, steering servo coming out, hits this Y, goes up to the steering wheel that's in the cab, comes over to this other Y connector, which runs over to the power capacitor, and out to the main steering servo. Shift servo, or the shift servo, the uh, wired wench controller is going into my fourth channel on my radio, which is auxiliary two, going into the receiver. And then it is running out right here on this heavily plastic dipped wire. This is just a negative wire that was coming off the, off the uh, plug that I didn't need, but I uh, left it intact and, sh you know, ran the plastic dip all the way up to the top of this, this collar here just to make sure that that was all watertight, you know, from here down. Once again, I did change out the stock winch wire from a, a two-prong small white connector to this female Futaba connector. And that runs out to my all my lights on the truck. My main winch controller, which is right here, is a wireless winch controller. That is running right up to my winch. And then it's coming back and hitting another Y connector. Why? <laughs> because it needs to. And uh, that is going over to my shift servo. Uh, so that is sitting in auxiliary one port. So it's just getting power from the shift servo. It doesn't actually, you know, the shift servo doesn't get used all that much. So no harm, no foul, stealing a little bit of power off of that line, you know, or off of that slot for the actual winch. So the the main winch, which is wireless, uh, is being shared off, is sharing power from my auxiliary one shift servo. So that is on a Y connector being split up right there. Uh, speed controller obviously hooked into the throttle, steering hooked into the steering, and my bind plug uh, hooked into the bind bind port just in case something happens and I need to rebind my radio. So I guess, uh, yeah, it's still a huge mess of spaghetti under here, and I'm really ashamed of all that. A um, bunch of whips and extensions and uh, wires going everywhere. Uh, but let's hook this guy up real quick and see if she works. One moment for that. All right, and we are back. Radio in hand. Truck is plugged in. Going to uh, toggle this little switch right here. There we go. We got all our lights on. All our lights off. Awesome. Super convenient. Winch. See if the winch still works. That is on this here push button. Yes, sir. We still still have our winch. Noisy Savox. All right, let's see if our uh, steering is all correct here. Wow, you can hear that Savox just making all kinds of noise in there, eh? All right, we're looking at the steering wheel and looking at the front tires. Yep, she is both going in the right direction. Definitely a lot of noise in there. I don't know if it's a high-tech servo that's hooked up to my steering wheel or if it's my Savox servo that's making all that noise.
Regardless, she is working and our lights are working. She is wired like a microwave. Now my next step with the truck, I'm going to have to uh, break this guy's arm off at the shoulder, insert a spring, glue his shirt down to his arm so it doesn't move around, attach his arm to the steering wheel. That way his arm moves with the steering wheel. Um, I would have done it beforehand, but I'm not too sure whether I want to keep this guy for a driver or if I want to use this guy in here for a driver. Um, this guy actually kind of looks a little bit like me. If he had a full beard, he'd look a little bit like me. I uh, kind of like to just move him over here to the driver's seat and find a female passenger for the truck. I'm not too hip on having two dudes in the cab, but yeah, you're out four-wheeling. You need another person to help tow, hook up a tow rope or pull a winch line. <laughs> it's good to have a buddy with you. But that's it, guys. She is all hooked up, wired like a microwave, like I said. Um, Viterra Twin Hammers is good to go um, with that new spur gear cover on there, the new gas tanks installed, five gallon fuel tanks installed. And uh, who knows, we might be getting a new set of wheels here for one of these vehicles. Not too sure. But I have all these, all these Super Swamper tires that came off of this uh, Twin Hammers that aren't doing anything and they are brand new and I'd really like to use them. I'd almost like to put these these uh, 1.9 XLs on the TF2 and put these regular 1.9s onto here. Uh, but these wheels, man, these wheels are no good. So um, a new set of wheels would definitely be in order. So unsure on what I want to do with all this. Still on the fence. But as for now, the TF2 is finished. So thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, click like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.